Let me bring you songs from the wood To make you feel much better than you could know Okay, Linda, tell the, tell the people in uh, Cube Land and uh, the, the rest of the world via Cube Land uh, a little bit about yourself. Um, hi, I'm Linda. Um, I'm half Cherokee and I'm half Cornish. And I was raised by um, really dirt poor Cherokee Indians. Um, that was my mother's side and my mother died when I was eight, so they raised me and they raised me in the, the Indian way. So I associate myself with Native Americans. What in the world would make you want to do all this activism stuff that seems like uh, pounding your head against the wall? <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, well, my mom was part of the cobalt experiments, so that was a big wake-up call for me. She died when I was eight. Um, also, my brother was in Vietnam, but my neighbor was in Vietnam, and they said that he... Um, he died. He was missing in action in Vietnam when we found out later that he was in special ops and and his helicopter was taking um, weapons to Laos. So they didn't even. It, it was a, cl a closed Congress session. So as a young child, I saw all that. So I protested Vietnam. So I've been an activist pretty much all my life. Now this um, boycott corporate. America, June 21st, what's this about? Well, um, America's a corporation and it's ran by those elite. We all know who they are. Um, we give them our power, we pay too much attention to them and, and I, I'm guilty of the same thing. We, we always are seeing what they're doing or the president saying, and, and there's nothing they've ever done for our good, it's all for them. So I say take our power back and don't don't do anything on that day. It's the summer solstice. Don't do any financial banking. If you have to shop, shop at a local farmer's market where you're helping that person, but nothing with big industry or corporations. Stay home. It's a boycott of the corporation, the Corporation of America. Um, and we're, we're gaining a little ground here, and I'm really happy. I've seen more and more people say they'll, they'll participate. And this isn't about political affiliation, uh, men, women. It's, you know, it's, it's about everybody. We, we're the human race, and there are a few people of the human race that think they should control us, and we think they shouldn't. And so by taking something they'll expect to happen every day, like spending that paper, uh, we're not going to do it. And, and that might hurt them. So this is more about uh, uh, ditching the, 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 the corporate whores out there and spending time with people you know and getting to know them better instead of running on the treadmill? Actually, yes. You just summed it up. Actually, we need to start getting face-to-face -face with people instead of um, the cube net or the um, ethernet. Uh, now, I've done that and you've done that and, and we've um, been trying to do that with other people and I think everybody needs to get out and that would be a perfect day um, that would be June 21st 2013 summer solstice get out and meet people one way or another I mean it's gonna it, sometimes it's hard to do because they've divided us they have divided us every which way they can um, so let's let's break the divide um, let's start I mean you're gonna have problems with everybody you meet nobody's perfect so, you know, set differences aside and try, you know, if, if somebody's just really going to go off, just move on. But try to set differences aside and just get everybody on the same thing. All right. What else can you think of you might want to throw out there that I ain't, that I ain't covered? Well, okay. Well, besides this, um, this one little boycott, we have one more thing that hopefully will happen in September. And this will be a big event. Uh, and this will be called the Clean House event, where we want everyone to march on their state capitals and to succeed from the Corporation of America. And I'm talking about men and women. Uh, the women, the women will be carrying dustpans, uh, brooms, mops, 
we can carry in the men too garbage cans plungers and we're not getting no permits to do this we're just going to do it have signs bullhorns i, I mean it, you know it's it's a and and nobody get violent this isn't about getting violent it's about going out there and saying we've had enough succeed we don't want to be a part of the corporation we want to be independent states we want to actually i would like to break it down smaller than that but we see what's happening everywhere um, and what they're doing with with human beings. They're, they're treating, they, all of us are slaves. And, and it's time that we took back our earth. This is our earth. This isn't their earth to control. And it's time we not give them the power. And so it's a clean house on, on, on American. I wish you'd go worldwide. I mean, take your, take your brooms, your dustpans, your plungers, your your garbage bags your garbage cans and march up there no permit needed just say you've had enough and if enough people show up well there's not a lot they can do the police are involved too stop paying your taxes the police don't have no money um, most of our revenue around here has gotten from getting tickets you can look it up on the website I posted it I think 63 percent of it is from revenue generating so um, you don't pay the police they can't revenue per, um, generate so I mean let's stop doing some of the things they say that we're obligated and and have to do taxation is voluntary you don't have to pay taxes stop doing it anything else okay that's it um, that should wind it up for now look forward to seeing how this stuff pans out I'm, I'm hoping that uh, people will s start taking action instead of sitting on their ass and waiting for somebody else to. It's time we do it. Okay. Okay. Hey, thanks a lot. Peace.